Hi everyone, it's Terry here from nutsaboutstamping.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take the Golden Honey Specialty Designer Series paper and use it to create a card that could be used for a variety of occasions. And you don't have to decide which occasion right now. You can earn the Golden Honey paper for free with a qualifying order during celebration, which is January 3rd to March 31st. I'll make sure that I link underneath this video in the description box a link to a blog post that talks about celebration so you can get all the details. But for now, let's make a card using the Golden Honey Specialty Paper. And here's what the paper looks like. It is absolutely fabulous. It's got black and white elements on one side. And then on the, oh look at this. And then on the other side, it has these gold elements that I think are absolutely stunning as well. You can see that there's these bees and beehives and leaves and flowers. Well, the golden honey paper is designed to pair with the honey bee bundle and the honey bee bundle is in the mini catalog on page 30. So you can go to my blog and download the mini catalog. You can also download the celebration catalog for free and then you can look up these products to get some more details. Now, when I saw this particular design, immediately I thought to myself, I bet I could color these flowers and create something a little bit different from the black and white. So that's what we're gonna do today. I have got a piece of Daffodil Delight, Delight, Daffodil Delight cardstock I've cut it eight and a half by five and a half and I've scored it on the four and a quarter mark. And my card is going to be a vertical layout. And to that, I'm going to add the honeybee paper. But first, I want to do a little bit of background stamping. Now, I don't have a leaf that matches perfectly to the designer series paper, but this one I think is close enough and so it's in the Love What You Do stamp set, and it's this little image here. And what I wanna do is take my Versamark ink, and I am just going to randomly, and you really probably won't be able to see it very well in the video, but I am going to randomly stamp this image using Ver Versamark down the left side and along the top and the bottom of my card base. Now, when you're using Versamark or ink and you're trying to create your own little background, I can tell you that less is more. Start with less and then you can always go back in and add more if you want. So I'm gonna set that aside for a minute and I'm gonna bring in this piece of the Honey Bee paper. And I decided what I'm going to do is use my Stampin' Blends to color. I'm gonna use Daffodil Delight because that matches the card base. And I really like Highland Heather as well. So I'm going to start off by doing a bit of coloring and then I will come back and we will finish off the card. Back in a moment. So here's what my designer series paper looks like, colored and ready for the next step. And here's a tip for you. When you're coloring with Stampin' Blends on this paper, don't go too far to the edge. Let me bring it up really nice and close because it bleeds. You see that halo effect around the image? I realized that was my first flower that I colored. And then I realized as I went on, I needed to go close to the edge but not right up to the edge because the blends ink tends to bleed a little bit over. Now, that doesn't bother me so much, but it might bother you, so that's just a tip in advance. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a piece of Highland Heather cardstock. It's just a scrap piece I have left over. And from the Sending Your Thoughts stamp set, which is also a free choice through celebration. There's this, what's this I hear? Well, all I can say is dot, 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 dot. 
And I like that because I can use that on the outside of my card and then when an occasion comes up that I want to use the card for, I can just finish it off inside. It could be congratulations, it could be happy birthday, it could be you're retiring, so on and so forth. All right, so I have inked that phrase up using my Tuxedo Black ink, and I've stamped it down onto the Highland Heather paper. And now, let's finish off the card. So I'm going to bring in, ah, you can see how it bleeds right through to the other side as well. That's what Stampin' Blends do, but that's fine with me because nobody's gonna see it. All right, so I'm going to open up my card and I'm going to bring my paper to the edge and I'm trying to ensure that I have the same amount at the top and at the bottom. It's a little bit less here, but that's okay. So there's that. And then I'm going to bring in my phrase and see if I can cover up the halo by adding my phrase down near the bottom like so. Very cute. And then I have some of these little glimmer dots that are in the main catalog. And this is gorgeous grape, but really when you put it on Highland Heather, I don't think you can tell the difference. Maybe you can tell the difference, I can't. So I am going to put a glimmer dot on either side of the phrase. And I had figured that I probably would want something on either side of the phrase. So I deliberately made my um, Highland Heather strip just a little bit longer, knowing that I wanted to put the phrase in the center. And that completes my card. So as I said, once I know what occasion I want to put on the inside, I can finish off my card and get it ready to send to somebody special or hand to somebody special. For a complete listing of the supplies that I used and the measurements for the cardstock, please head on over to my blog. I'll also have the product numbers in case you want to earn some of these products for free or you want to purchase some of these products to make the card. www.nutsaboutstamping.com And while you're on my blog, don't forget to subscribe to my free newsletters. I send a newsletter each week, and you won't see those projects in my newsletter anywhere else. I'm Terry. I am Nuts About Stamping. I hope you'll create something colorful today, too. Bye for now.